Leon. Hmm? See you later. Yeah. See you soon. Excuse me. Hello. Welcome. Sir, would you be interested in the Bailu Fishing Tournament? Fishing Tournament? It's a fishing fest, hosted by me. The rules are simple. Catch the biggest fish, and you win. The winner gets a special made original t-shirt. Right. Well, you up for the challenge? Count me in. Thanks. The event starts at 12 noon and ends at 3 p.m. Catch the biggest one you can in three hours. Three hours, huh? By the way, uh, are you here to rent equipment? I have to rent it? Yep. One rental, one fishing session. Once you've started fishing, you can stop any time. But you'll have to re-rent if you want to fish again. So, which one do you want? This one. You got it. You can fish wherever there's a little fish symbol. Keep an eye out for them. They're everywhere. Okay. I think I can fish here.
I'll pass. Just look at this hall. You've got quite some skill. I just got lucky. I caught one. This is amazing. This size. It could even be the king of Bailu. I see. You're the winner, no doubt. Let's proceed to the award ceremony. I present you with a special Huang's Tackle original t-shirt. Thanks. We've got lots of events planned, so stop by whenever you've got time. I'll come again later. Sorry, bud. Rentals are done for the day. You've got to come earlier if you want to fish. Now, give this a shot. Excuse me. 
Pardon me, are you from this village? No, I'm not. I knew it. You seem different. I came from out of town looking for work, and the rumors were right. Martial arts is popular here. I love strong women. Just looking at one gets me all excited. I see. Actually, there's one that's caught my attention. I'd like to get closer, but look at me. I'm just skin and bones. If I looked as strong as you, I'd have no problem telling her how I feel. Right. Her name is Wei Chen. I don't suppose you could talk to her for me? Or is it asking too much? All right. What would you like me to ask this Wei Zhang? Thanks. First, ask if she has a boyfriend. And if not, if she's looking for one. Ask if she's okay dating someone who can't fight. I think that should cover my bases. I see. Excuse me. What is it? I'm trying to get to Yan Xing's house. Which way is it to the Rainbow Basin? That's a bit of a hike. It's a ways past the Sunflower Grove. I see. Mr. Ye's place, right? Yan Xing is that weaver's son. Got it. Thanks a lot. You got a minute? Who, me? You need something? There's something I'd like to ask you. Are you seeing anyone? What? Well, um... Uh, no. Why? Are you looking for a boyfriend? Uh, I guess so. I'm flattered, but... Oh, no. I'm not asking for me. Then, would you mind sparring with me? I want to date someone stronger than myself. If you insist. couldn't do a thing. Thank you so much. I learned a lot from you. It makes me so happy. Well, actually, someone asked me to talk to you. What? What? I'm sorry. Sorry for jumping the gun. But a man who cannot talk to the girl he likes is no man I'm interested in. My apologies. Come back if you feel like sparring again. Okay. Got it. How'd it go? Did you talk with Wei Jun? A little. So, does she have a boyfriend? Is she looking for one? It seems she's open to a relationship. But... But? She only wants to date someone stronger than her. Ah, uh, okay. And... And? Things might be different if you ask her out yourself. 
I wouldn't have bothered asking you if I could do it myself. Doesn't look like I'll get anywhere with her. I see. No work, no girl. I'm just gonna head back to the village. Right. Don't make that face. You've done everything you could. Sorry I couldn't be of more help. You got a minute? You're here again? Well, actually. I know, I know. I'm just really happy we can spar like this. I want you to have this. It's been in my family for generations. Are you sure? I think this will definitely come in handy for you. It's just sitting here collecting dust anyway. Thanks. Um... Hmm? Um... If you don't mind, would you spar with me again? Huh? Oh, a challenge. Let's go. Please and thank you. much. I learned a lot from you. Come back if you feel like sparring again. Sure. Thank you so much.
Out of my way, I said! Leave me alone! I told you! My son isn't here! Just move already! <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Huh? <laughs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> you must be the thugs that wrecked Shu's house. Now tell us who you are! Not until you tell me why you're tearing this village apart. That's none of your damn business. Hey! Let's mess this kid up! Causing trouble here. Look, I can explain. Oh, the hell? You're just a little punk kid. You got a death wish, don't you, kid? I'll finish you off in 30 seconds flat. I can't believe you did that. Are you all right? Yes. I'm fine. Who are you? I came to talk to Yan Xing. You did? I'm sorry, but he's not here. Not here? Was he kidnapped? Kidnapped? Goodness, no. He's over in Hermit's Nest. Way out there. That's where he fled once he heard they were coming after stonemasons. 
At least you got away safely. Is something going on? Yuan has disappeared. He has? Oh, oh no. Yanjin is his apprentice, or was, anyway. Yuan's disappeared. Those thugs are after my boy. What is going on here? I'll be sure to tell you, if I learn anything new. I'd be forever grateful. I hope you find something. I'll go to the hermit's nest and talk to Yan Sheng. It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Maybe I should play one.
man. So close. I'll keep going. I'll come back later. Excuse me. Um, is anybody there? Maybe they really aren't at home. Yan Xing. Who's there? My name is Hazuki. I'm a friend of Mr. Yan's daughter, Shenhua. Shenhua? I'd like to talk to you. Can you open the door? Uh, I'm sorry. I can't do that. As long as I stay inside and lay low, I'll be safe. I understand. All right. I'm going home then. I'll go back to Shenhua's and fill her in on the situation. Maybe I should play one. So close. Look at the time. Maybe tomorrow. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? I went to the hermit's nest and talked to Yan Xing. Oh, good. That means he's still safe. And what of my father? I didn't get that far. I'm sorry. What? Why not? Yan Xing wouldn't even open the door for me. He's pretty terrified. That's terrible. We haven't found a single clue about your father. True. I can't even find those thugs. They all... We've got nothing. 
What the hell do we do now? Calm down, Leo. Anger won't get us anywhere. But... Clear your mind. Huh? This is what my father would say. When you're stuck, throw out everything you think you know, and approach things from a different angle. Is that what he would do? It sure is. And you clearly feel pretty stuck. You can say that again. I'm going to go see Yan Xing again. Maybe this time I can get him to calm down and talk to me for a minute. Okay. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? I wanted you to know that he's okay. Good. He'll be safe there, too. It's pretty remote. Not many people go out that way. Okay. Hey, do you have a moment? What is it, Liao? I'll head over there and pay him a visit. He's bound to know something, since he trained under my father. Okay. Hey. What is it, Liao? I wanted you to know that he's okay. Thanks for telling me. See what he has to say once he collects himself. Yeah. <laughs> 